Good morning, everyone. What do you think about Foster Grants? It was cheap. They were at a truck stop, and I needed some glasses. And they were not as geeky looking as my other pair. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking of something. Actually, there was a England Dan and John Ford Coley or something. It's a um, 70s duo, duet. Kind of like Seals and Croft. And they have a song, Love is the Answer. And I'm listening to this song, and it's so, it's so awesome. I mean, literally timeless, awesome. Listen to it. It's a beautiful song. And I was just thinking about, wouldn't that be awesome? And, and I was just thinking about all the people hurting, and, and if they could just raise their vibration, just raise their heart, and be happy, and just feel the love, and, I don't know, glow inside, and then maybe just make everybody else glow, and just, everybody's happy. And I thought of a movie. I mean, we could think about, like, you know, what I'm doing and everybody does and that does YouTube and videos and stuff. And there's a movie called Ed TV with Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right. Yep. Man himself. The doobage himself, man. Um, Playing bongos naked in the middle of that, getting really high. That was some good weed. That's all I'm saying, Matthew. Good for you. Um, anywho, the, the, <laughs> that's awesome. And um, Ellen DeGeneres is in it. Um, liked her as a comedian. Love her as a comedian, but I'm not into the politics. Anyway, the movie was amazing. I loved it. I thought it was funny. And Jenna Elfman is in it also. From Darwin Gregg, she's an awesome, amazing woman. Very sexy, very one of my little crushes, always. One of my teachers. I mean, you you learn from people that you meet, even friends. Like I I burn in nag champa, incense. I love that stuff. Lavender is my favorite. I I started doing that from my friend Jeannie, who's a total hippie, and she was the one that got me into Ren Fairs. So, yeah, I mean, there's people you learn, they're guides, they help you better your life and you get better habits. And burning incense is a good habit, it's not a bad one, it's not like bur you know, burning crack. You know? you know what I'm saying? So there's good things to pick up from people and bad things, so try to pick up the good stuff. Okay, back to Ed TV. Uh, the premise is this nobody, and they're trying to get somebody, you know, it's basically the beginning of reality TV, and, and he just, they interview him and... You know, yeah, Ellen DeGeneres is like, this is the one. This is the guy. He's going to, you know what I mean? They want to generate ratings. And she's cute because she's like the whole time is she's trying to promote him. And she starts caring about him. And then the producer's a, Rob Reiner. He is an asshole, so that's kind of apropos. But yeah, yeah. So Rob Reiner was the, basically the boss. And he was just a total scumbag. <clears throat> so anyway, the premise is that he's nobody. He's, you know, oh yeah, Woody Harrelson's in it. Yeah, you gotta watch this movie, man. Woody Harrelson plays the best. He's the, he's his brother, and they gotta do the chicken dance. You gotta love the chicken dance. Woody Harrelson plays his brother, who's just like a clueless, you know, self-absorbed dumbass. He's funny though. Who's actually dating Jenna Elfman, and she ends up falling for Matthew McConaughey because obviously, you know, Woody Harrelson's character is just such a just it was funny. But anyway. So the long story short, she starts falling for him, and he starts falling for her, and they figure, and they find out that they dig each other, and this is all on TV and everything. And then they have she has to run off. Anyway, the movie's cool, cute, whatever. But the thing is, is at the end of the movie, I mean, because he ends up, you know, getting real famous, and they split up, and she's off in Seattle somewhere, crying in her soup, watching him on television while she's working, delivering stuff somewhere else, you know, doing her job. And he's dating this supermodel who's also hot, but that, that was a funny incident too. But um, so yeah, and he's and, and the people are watching him all over the world. Everybody's like tuned into this dude. It's kind of like Truman Show, right? Everybody's tuned into TV and to see what Ed's gonna do. And they're like, "Don't fuck it up, Ed." That's all they want to do. Is see, and he ends up, you know, he ends up <laughs> smashing her her pussy, the cat, the uh, the supermodel. You have to watch the movie. It's it's a really funny movie. Anyway, the, 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 my favorite part of that movie is at the end. When, when him and Jenna Elfman hook up again. Because, not just that, but at the end, when they're trying to, they're trying to figure a way out of the contract. 
and they they find they find a secret about one of the the Rob Reiner. They find out Rob Reiner's secret, right? So they're going to reveal his secret on television on Ed TV if they don't turn it off, right? So the thing is that in, in the end, he pl pulls the plug and they're free. And they're free from the contract. And everybody cheers. It seems like everybody that was watching it understood. And they cheered it in unison. And maybe that's the point. You know, I want the world to cheer in unison, not this fear bullshit that we're dealing with. I want people to cheer. This Delta variant of the fucking COVID, it's bullshit. It's just more propaganda. They're, they're, I mean, these people are twisted. I mean, I'm, so I'm telling you, just live in the light, live in truth. Don't believe any bullshit you hear. Be the detective, be your own detective. That's what I love about my videos. When I'm throwing out, like, descriptions of a dog running away from the Bigfoot. I believe that dog saw something that scared the shit out of it. So, but that's, but I didn't tell you, I didn't, I didn't give you a link. I didn't give you a link. I don't give any links. There's a reason why I don't give links. Because I want you to be your own detective. I want you to be the sleuth. I want you to be Sherlock Holmes. I want you to embody Robert Downey Jr.'s character. Or not him, because he's married. But yeah, yeah. Although he's adorable. I love you, Robert. Anyway, and he's a great friend to uh, Mel Gibson, too. That was awesome. They were trying to throw Mel Gibson under the bus about it when he got drunk that time. It was ranting. And they tried to get Robert Downey to... to to diss him on Good Morning America. They tried to get Robert Downey to diss um, Mel Gibson. He's like, everybody else was, when everybody else turned their back on Robert Downey, Mel Gibson was the man, he was there. He helped him out when he was having his problems with drugs. So yeah, yeah, he's a loyal friend, good for him. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. You know, love and light, people. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. You can't beat the universe, you can't be God. You can think you can. You think you're in charge. You think you're controlled, but you're not. But anyway, I love you guys. Watch Ed TV. It's it's actually really a funny movie, and a lot of amazing actors are in it. A lot of them. There's some people I didn't even mention. Hopper, Dennis. Anywho, seriously, watch the movie. Anyway, love and light, people. I want everybody to cheer. I want a unison. I want everybody's voices to be raised in joy. Mm. I know lofty goals, right? We can do this, people. I know I'm a, such a dreamer. Fierce grass, bro. Love and light. Have a wonderful day, people. And I'm going to leave you a little sunrise here. Oh, sunrise coming. Love you guys. Goodbye. Okay,